Hello, everyone. There's whales out there somewhere, but they're hiding. This isn't about the whales today. Well, not the moment. Today is about you and me and um, the, the dark night of the soul. I want to talk about that personally. I want to talk about it for me. If you went back and did the, you know, the biography of my life, I've had tower moments my whole life. I've had dark night of the soul moments my whole life where I would literally be. When you have a parent that literally calls the other parent and says, I can't handle him. You take him as if I was some kind of fucking horrible thing, right? Imagine that kind of fucks with your self-esteem. <sighs> yeah. So I had my demons. And I fought them my whole life. And for me, it was not thinking I was good enough. And punishing myself in ways that you cannot imagine. I mean, I never did heroin. I never stuck any needles in my arms. I don't do needles, which is why I don't do vaccines. I've never done flu shots. I don't. I had to get blood drawn when I was taking uh, Narcos. But that was to make sure my kidneys weren't failing. Yeah. Narcos are shit. Oxycontin is shit. Any white pill the doctor gives you is shit. Medical marijuana is the truth. Get over it. I'm living proof of that. So, anyway, so I don't do needles. Ever. But I have punished myself a lot with alcohol. Um, I've done other stuff. I've done meth. Ew, yeah, I know. It's a horrible thing to say. I've done cocaine. I've never done crack. I can honestly say I'm just never. I just, yeah, there was like, even those I would not go. I've never done, um, I've done PCP once, but that was when some girl snuck it in the joint between me and my sister and her. She was a bitch. And that was a long high. That was not cool. And luckily, I wrote it out and just dealt with it, but I was aware what the fuck was going on, so I didn't, it wasn't so bad. But I did um, acid. I've done LSD. I don't know, six, seven times, whatever. And the last time I did it was liquid, and it was just pretty fucking amazing. And I never did it after that. I was like, it was... It was a really amazing trip, I have to say it. So I didn't do it after that. I was like, okay, you do something amazing and it was it. I, I'm not gonna repeat this. It's not gonna happen again and I wouldn't wanna try. Plus I was over it. You know, it's like cigarettes to me. I could stop smoking cigarettes. And I have friends that are just like, I hate you. And it's just, I just mentally realized it's not good for you. It's shit and get over it, right? But there were moments when I wanted to kill my, well, I was, and it's not so much I wanted to kill myself, but I didn't give a shit about living. Let's put it that way. To where I was doing drugs, and I was just, it, it was a shit, it was a shit experience, it was a shit life. And I pulled myself out of it, I just wanted more. I knew there was something more. So I, I loved myself just enough not to, to end up dying of, you know, dr alcohol or m turn into a meth head or any of that shit. And you, you gotta feel sorry for these people, because. At some point, they're like a lot of these homeless that are being assholes. Some of them are really severely mentally ill. So it's you know I hate you know being critical, but at the same time, it's like it's a tough one because at some point you want to help them, but I'm not gonna do it. You know what I mean? I'm not personally skilled to be dealing with mentally ill homeless dudes. You know, women are and there's, there's women out there too. And that's another sad one. It's like oh that breaks my heart. I mean, I can deal with dudes being homeless, but when women are homeless, that's just, that's a whole other thing. Don't even get me started about when they have kids. But this is for you to understand that I've been through it. I, you know, I've been in the, I've been the low of the low, you know. I got so low that people, I was, people ready to kick dirt on me, right? And I crawled out of it. I wanted, I wanted more out of my life. I just, and it's funny because when I, when I got stabbed, that was, in, that was a, that was a tower moment. I almost died. It was like the doctor told my parents, um, inch higher or lower and I'd be dead. There wouldn't have been, that would have been the end of it. And I would have just bled out. And I, that's what I thought actually, because I knew the, I knew bio, and biology and I knew where my organs were and I knew that was an area and I was really concerned about that. So I was saying my goodbyes in my head when I was laying there on the ground bleeding out, waiting for the ambulance. So we have our moments, then we get over them and we move on. I want you to know you're stronger than this. I mean, you know, if you're dealing with some drugs and bullshit, just know that there's a light, man. There's a way out. You just gotta be strong and love yourself and quit doing it. And and if and if it's 
And if it's just because of something you don't know about, fucking, what's worse? You know, dying of drug or alcohol or making a phone call. And just getting it out, saying you're an asshole, or I'm an asshole, or we're an asshole, or everybody's love each other, whatever, right? A phone call beats the hell out of killing yourself with alcohol or drugs. That's all I'm saying. So just love yourself. Don't do drugs. Unless it's marijuana, and that's a whole different story. And don't do prescription drugs. Big pharma can suck a dick. And alcohol, you have know my feelings about that. Honey wine, is a, it's a touchy subject because I love honey wine, but I rarely drink it. And because I understand the effects, it's just, it's, it's not a positive, uplifting thing. So, you know, I, I, I'm honestly, if I get married, I'm probably going to have some money. Why? I don't know, just to celebrate my first child. I don't know. Second child would be a fire. These are things, you know, I'm not like a prude or anything. I just, I just know when people drink excessively, it's just, it's just a soul sucker. Anyway, I digress. I'm not perfect, never have been, never will be. I'm a student, not the master. Always the student. If you think like that, you're never going to be shocked, but you're always going to be amazed. I love you. God loves you. Universe loves you. Have a wonderful day. Love and light. Okay.